morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy time zone, everybody. This is Road to Dusk. Hope everyone is having a very great time. Um, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties because I forgot to plug in my other little uh, mini mini TV to go with where um, we're doing stuff tonight because we are going to be doing... Um, we're going to be playing some Thousand Year Door. Uh, I know that that is something that a lot of people are curious about. I'm definitely curious. Um, Top Hat might be joining us later this evening, but uh, Top Hat is currently at work, so it might be some time before that happens. Um, until then... Let's see how far this will go. And let me turn down the... Let me turn down the music. I hope everyone is having a great time, by the way. Let's see. Oh, and you feed the little one. Noise. All right, let's press the button. All right, let's see how well this will go. And while the opening cutscene is going on, um, I might actually want to try and still figure out where the power cord for my TV should go, because I kind of need to be able to see on my end. I'm many things, but nice probably doesn't apply. Three. I mean, I, I would consider you nice. You're a nice person. Who here grew up with Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door? Because for me, actually, um, I did not grow up with Mario. I actually... I grew up with PlayStation, and so most of my experience... Uh, actually I'm a little too old for this one. That's oh. three. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little too, uh, technically I'm a little too, I'm technically the right age for it, but at the same time, like, I wasn't raised with Nintendo consoles. I was lucky to have a Game Boy Advance when I was younger, but I never actually played anything outside of that. Oh, hold on. Yes, okay, it's still connected. Oh, and the audio's getting jaggedy. Hold on. Gonna plug it out, plug it back in, because I. Okay, music is a little louder than you. Music's a little loud compared to me? Okay. Let me see what I can do then. Well, I was also not too close to my mic, so you couldn't hear me all too well because I was rummaging to get things done. Um, but yeah, it should be a little better now. I can also move my little TV so that you guys can see a little bit better. All right, and you know what? Since this is my first time, well, technically not my first time, but at the same time, First time playing for you guys, I want to... Let's go through the beginning cutscene. Let's see. I'm just gonna wait for this to go through. All right. <clears throat> Today. I'm going to tell you both I completely missed that an awfully long time ago. It was a 
town where all people lived very nice lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness fell, filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end, and in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town site no longer held the relics of the past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in, that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. I feel like this is your territory, Celine, indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. It's 100% my territory, but I'm a little busy tonight and can't join you. <laughs> Tomorrow might work better for me if you'd like a voice actress. Tomorrow I might? I mean, that's when I start working again for uh, for the work week, but I am thinking of adding more days to my streaming schedule. See, so won't you buy something? I have a wine assortment sort of knickknacks. Oh, well. Pretty box? What's inside it? <clears throat> it is said that this box holds a map that shows where a, legend a legendary treasure sleeps, but the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for the pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't budge as for for one as myself to open it. Oh. I know, if the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. Give me just a quick sec. Let's see. All right, now let's get started. I hope there's no clipping or anything regarding the stream. I did recently change my setup to where it's going to prioritize the quality of the stream. So hopefully there won't be that much of um, that much regarding word, regarding um, like clipping or anything like that, but there probably will be a delay. been loaded. No, I don't want to do one for myself. I'm going to do a new one for the stream. Right. I mean, if I notice any scuff, you know I'll complain loudly. <laughs> yes, yeah, screech to the heavens. Forestasia, thank you so much for the follow. Forestasia! Hey, hey, hope you're doing well. See, I need the TP for, well, TH for top hat. There we go. Wait, 
Boom. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna move my stuff around so that I can move the microphone so that you'll hear me a bit better while I'm playing this. If I start to get like too loud or audio or anything is desyncing or you can't hear anything all that well, let me know and I'll mess with the controls. from Princess Peach to ride to you. Okay, that sounds more accidentally Latino than Italian. I am not gonna, no. <laughs> I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? <laughs> now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I'm now with Alphabet, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go find treasure all by myself, I thought, <clears throat> I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Love, Beach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Let's see. Honestly, this music is quite nice. Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright, into the prologue we go. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's a rogue port. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. You know, they use a lot of big words uh, for this game, honestly. Like a lot of game, a lot of words that I didn't really expect. Cataclysm, disembark. You don't really use, uh, you don't really see words like that very often. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, I just realized that there's a double for the main audio, I think. I am so sorry about that. Let me be sure that um, you guys aren't getting any extra because I want to be sure that I just want to be sure that like all of my uh, audio like the ducks and whatnot are in a row because I do not like it when 
people when audio is doubled or um, like people say that they're overstimulated because like my empathy goes so bad that I get overstimulated for people. So I want to be sure that this is going as well as possible. Okay. Uh, let me double check that this is actually going to work as I intend it to. All right, I'm gonna do a check. I'm gonna do a check with the Texas speech test. Okay, so that looks like that it that it came up for my for my thing. That wasn't too loud, right? Extra test. Thank you for the extra test, Celine. Uh, that didn't sound too loud for people, right? It was fine. Okay. All right, I will take your word for it then, so I will keep going with the game. Let's see how well I can do a toad voice. What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I don't remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? The lag is absolutely mm. massive. Go, just so you oh know. no, the lag is the lag is big. Damn it. It's not a problem. Just a thing to be aware of. Just a thing to be aware of. Yeah, that's fair. Next time that I play, I might set my settings back to a balanced setting so that the lag isn't as long. Um, but yeah. If, if people don't mind the lag for now, uh, I'll, I'll keep it as is to where it's like I prioritize quality. Um, but if people do get overstimulated and annoyed from the lag, I will try and see if I can set it to balanced or speed. We'll, we'll see what happens. Oh. Let's see. Oh, come! Let's see. Complaining about your long lag. I wouldn't stress on it. Okay, that's fair. Thank you for the info, though, Celine. It's like, oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking. So be a good girl and let, tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. Boom. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you come in, Lord Graham, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Huh, <laughs> not likely. <laughs> What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Ka! It's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crumper bomb. Cannot flee the fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak off this freak of the week, okay? Why do they have a British accent? I have no idea. That was just the thing that came to my head because, like, I think it's because of the phrase come off it. Because I never hear anyone in the US or Canada say, oh, come off it. That's only a thing that I hear of, like, folks from the UK, Australia, or New Zealand. So I just instinctively went for a bit of a cockney ish British accent. <laughs> 
Don't split the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Let's do the hammer. I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Oh! I thought I'd press that in time, but apparently not. There we go. You did it! Let's see, and you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100, you'll go up a level. Don't forget about that, okay? Nice. <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots in, I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time! Punish him! Quick, this way! Bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Uh, uh. Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You! Johnson! Did you see them? Did anyone? Karad, they bolted. Woo, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. My name's Gumbella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogue Port, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there? Oh my gosh. It, is that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great Hoogly Boogly! If it isn't best to Mario! But it's a coincidence bumping into another. Uh, bumping into one another in this sort of place, huh? <laughs> so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Huh. Oh, huh, indeed? Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot for fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my army off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario? I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've never fraught with... I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave the task to you. 
I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in! <laughs> yes. Anyway, a little rest that will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough, indeed. Ugh, it's safe. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets napped by Bowser the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec. This is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, Don't you, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, ooh, ooh. I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show you him. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. And Bella joined your party. And Bella's abilities: a uh, a primer or a primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Roeport Plaza. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goobther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her, or they. So, did you get all that? Gimbella can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Gimbella can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in, in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bunk. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her Tattle ability. It's literally just a tracker. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Also, just not going to pay attention to the noose in the middle of, in the middle of the plaza. Also, I do have um, some jelly beans to snack on. If the uh, scraggling of the bag is too much for you guys, please let me know. A noose is a pretty bad thing to get hung up on. Yeah! That, that guy's a mouse, a mouse a million. He sniffs out propositions that might make him loot. With his nose for opportunity, he could really do well in the straight business world. But I guess no one in Roteport is really cut out for that suit and tie life. Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens! I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move! I'm not gonna do the stitch voice. Do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? I'm, I'm not going to touch. Are, are we allowed to move? Oh, oh no! He stepped on it, my poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. 
Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Wow. See, nothing in here I can interact with. Turf war between the, the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. Welcome, yes, welcome to the Toad Bro to the Toad Brothers Bazaar. Oh, uh, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Wait a moment. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I say. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Come back soon, okay? That's the end. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? If you press Z, you can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't know that yet. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in an inn so you recover. Use your head. I'm looking for the guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallet for me. Let's go through the east gate. Ooh. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Wow. That's so lame. I hate this town. Hey, you big old, you big old rube. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful, live longer. What have we got in here? Oh. <laughs> to power up your pod door, talk to me from the other side of the table. I assume that's going to cost money. Hey, there's a professor. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! Emery! Rose! Who wants me? Oh, yes, you. No, you, no. I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. Look at his right. Um, it's not Gumriel. Uh, it's not Elizabeth. Um, um. Ah! I got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at Yugum. At Yugum. Go, Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to do my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering you, though. You stick out like a, You stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario! Professor, he's Mario! You know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what hip, about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure you said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason why I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know what most say it's like. You know what most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. 
Good point. And well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there were many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super, that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find a legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door, and the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if the magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where, where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly here, but deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we, exactly. Mario has a magical map. What? Really? You, you actually have it. Could I... Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding. This is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great. Fantastic. Wonderful, even. With this... We can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door! Right on, Professor! Good golly! What are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella! Mario! Oh, we must go this instant! Let's take the magical bat to the legendary door! Oh, I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh, wait. Hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands. Let's see. I'm gonna run down. <laughs> Positively shocking! In that case, you want to take a second to learn them. We'll have a little practice session, Goombella. You can be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you nuts? Oh, gee. Uh, okay. I'll do my best, I guess. First, we'll practice the jump action command. That okay? That okay with the both of you? Choose the jump command, then choose which enemy you'll attack. When you choose your target, the action command details appear below. Right there, Mario, just before you land on your enemy, press A again. You'll know you did it right when nice appears. You can do more damage this way. Now it's your turn to attack, Goomba. did a guard action command. Guarding. Guarding well will reduce the damage that you take. But listen, you can't just repeatedly tap A to guard. That will not work. Remember this, the action commands change depending on the attack. Better stay on your toes. Anyway, next let's practice the, ha the hammer action commands. Hold on, grabbing a jelly bean. Once you choose the enemy you're going to attack, Mario, tilt and hold left. Release as soon as the star. Another rousing action command success. How did that feel? Got a pretty good grasp of the action commands now? Excellent. 
Now for a real tree, I'll teach you a really incredible technique. Good Bella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it. Freeze right there, Mario. This time, press B just before the enemy attack lands. Oh! See? You turned the foe's attack back on them. I mean... See, that's a super guard. If you do a super guard with B, you take no damage and damage your enemy in return. The super guards are harder to do than the standard A guards. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes Action Commands 101. Would you like to practice your Action Commands a bit more? Nope, I got it. I expected nothing less, Mario. You're a quick learner. You're already a pro, I'm sure. Hop onto the pipe and tilt. There we go. Alright. When in doubt, save. Alright. Ooh. That's something that we might be able to break later. Okay, so we're kind, of, we're kind of stuck on where to go. Where are we? Uh, welcome, Mario. I am Merlu. I'm I'm Merluvly, the lovely fortune teller. Seen with my amazing abilities, that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha! So, shall I see something for you? Oh. I don't have the money for that. Oh! I should use the hammer on the crack. If I can. I don't think I can, actually. Alright, guess I gotta go this way. Hey! Hey, ma'am, what's up? Who's that hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a little while? We... No. I'm gonna be skipping that info, y'all. Nuh-uh. Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously, yeah. Guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Hey, y'all are... <laughs> Come off it, sister. Nobody sings this like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Oh, I'm gonna get you. A Goomba, a Spidey Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're you're the one who will take damage. The Para Goomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for it. Always take your opponent's situation in, into consideration when fighting. Always! Oh, that's right! I forgot to tell you something vital! You can press Y to change the order you two attack it. Oh, you can attack first. If you feel like it, Goombella, don't forget about it. I don't have any items. You know, I'll do normal. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. Nice. Okay. So head bonk on the Paragoomba. Little early on that. Early on that. 
Got 10 star points. Nice. Oh, we run, you cowards. Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where that came from, and they'll all have it in for us. And they attack, try to hammer them, or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Nice. Really curious to see where this goes. Haha! <laughs> oh snap! Ah. <laughs> oh. There we go. You know, I find it interesting how like everything for Goombella except for her hair is outlined in black. Hey, okay, you can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Press uh, the start and pause button to, and choose items from your gear. Cool. Oh, I thought I could be able to, like, knock it into the other person. Oof. There we go. Alright, six points. When I saw the two earlier, I thought it was just going to be, like, just two. Oh, there's a key up there. Got to get it.
strange black key, but what could it be for? I can tell that's something that needs to be opened. And that platform's gonna have to move eventually. Ooh. Maybe this will be what the key. Oh! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend! Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So, yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, dread. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh, yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, aren't you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So, first, you should look for the key to this box. Then, use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. I already got it. Well, what do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Whoa, 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 you brought the key. Yes, oh man, I owe you big. Yes. Thank. Ha! <laughs> Thank nothing. Wee! <laughs> of course. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you! What, do you think I was going to help you? Instead, I'm going to spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm going to cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Buckley, Buckley, ooh, you cursed! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. <laughs> Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? You stand on an airplane panel like this when the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y. And then, BAM! You're a paper airplane! The worst part of the curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might, find, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. So be honest. Was it? Yeah, I get it. It's terrible. If you press V, you might return to normal. Might. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> Honestly, that's not really that bad. So, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? Anything else in here? This is what that box meant. Tilt left and right to steer your paper airplane self. You have to be a good pilot if you want to fly far. Try it once more. Sheesh Louise. 
Pup. This looks like if you tilt away from the way that you're facing, the plane will rise. But if you tilt it for too long, you'll lose speed and crash. Ha ha! Oh, that's menacing. See, oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that. It's a thousand year door spoken of in legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is, big as a life. Come, let's move closer. Hey, what's the deal with the weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Oh, was that Gimbella saying that? Um, let's see. Oh, I gotta do something to get. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? I'm doing a thing! <laughs> Oh, this is giving me slight motion sickness. All the turning. Oh, it's stopping. Good. Dragon with the stake. The location of a, of a crystal star has been recorded on, on the map, and Mario has learned a special move. You can now use sweet treats. Each time you get a crystal star, you will learn a new special move. Ooh. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the location. <clears throat> it appears that the information related to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light. It looks as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do! Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario has now, uh, can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it... well... Stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Yes, please. Excellent! In that case, we'll go outside. Since this place is a little cramped, First, take a look at that. The, take a close look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So your terror in my soul as your stream suddenly started playing on my headphones out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is so weird. That is so weird. I guess. I guess whatever uh, console or whatever that you are looking at the stream from decided like, hey, you you want to do a thing? You want to hear a thing? That that's kind of funny. Not gonna lie. But hey, Fee, I hope you're doing well. I was just lying here and then suddenly voices in my head. <laughs> What's in your head? 
<laughs> I hope you're doing well, by the way, Fee. Sitting on a single dot Voices of star power. Your head are good company, I hope. Uh, depending. When you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. What's in your head? We are. LOL, yes, yeah, I just true. woke up to your lovely voice, impersonating Mario in intense confusion. Yeah. Yeah, re repeatedly tell uh, the left controller to shoot hearts and flowers. How do I. Oh! I see. Since you used one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empties out, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching you watch new battles is so important. If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Gumbella, try to attack me. That won't do. Perform like that and the audience will be feel rubbed off. Trust me. You have to execute your action commands. Don't get stage fright. Ah, uh, there we go. See that? You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. Nice, right, so keep building up that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in the audience. That's no good, come on. If you don't perform your action commands, people will stop seeing you. It's really hard to try and get the, the rhythm. This is your chance to hit it big. Nail an action command when you have two matching icons and icon wheels will appear. Give it a try. Huh. Okay, wow. You match three icons. When you match three icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match, your, F, your HP, FP, and or star power will fill up. But if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. Still with me? The more people in your audience, the more star power you get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you've memorized this. Great Goomba's Ghost Mario, look at that audience! Does that guy have a hammer? He does the bump! He means to toss it at you! If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll take it damage, obviously. You have to press X to stop them before they hit you. That's right, sweet justice! You can press X to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff, like coins. Don't attack them! Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my my scintillating lecture on special moves. Let's go back inside. Let's have a look at what magical map at that magical map and see what we can learn about the Whoa! Outstanding! 
This map has a radar has radar like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found at a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere, that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you can just find that, you'll get there instantly. Pipe travel is efficient. Uh, pipe travel is efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, where did you get that map exactly? From Princess Peach. Really? Her Highness sent you this map, Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Uh, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed weren't there, your first priority must be to catch up with her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end. And that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around what uh, ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a stray little gamba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Wait just... Wait just a moment. Ooh. I hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's... It's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly useful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? Yes, please. In that case, first press the start or pause to access your home screen. Equipping and removing. Let me exp oh. There we go. Press A to access badges. Press A again and move the cursor to the badge. Badges acquire, okay, require one BP. Use one BP for this one. And you remove, okay. By the way, you need flower points to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only for your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. Alright, before I go too far. Mailbox SP. What? A device for receiving email. Press A to check your mail. I want to check my mail! everything that I need. Oh, I don't remember the skulls there. Especially not here. Oh, I used to sail around in Broadway in my younger days. 
but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploring all over the place without giving it much thought. See, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person as he seems most jovially. Who, me? You ask about? Ah, uh, I am called Flavio. I am, how, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rookport. But, <laughs> Welcome to the lone refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Yeah, I don't remember the, the skull and crossbones and the Molotov being right here before. Uh, any updates on... Sorry, but your contact lens hasn't arrived quite yet. I feel terrible about this, but you'll have to wait a little longer. I guess time to go this way. Ooh. Dang, yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. Do you believe that? But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. Yeah, sure. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. Yeah, sure. Ah, I can't jump on the boxes. They're a little too high. Oh. Yeehaw! Some fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Good. Also, poor dude. Let me give you a newsflash. Even the innocent looking people in town are thieves. So don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. My rage is so hot right now I could cook you with it. Let's see. Oh, that's just taking me to the port. In case you didn't know, the plaza is through the gate at the top of the stairs. There are shops and inns and stuff there. You ought to take a look, good look around. Oh. Who, me? Well, I, I'm a bit down. My older brother left poor just the other day. I wonder how he's doing now. I just hope he comes back in one piece. Let's save... There was, uh, I thought there was gonna be another ship. Cause we need to go to Petal Meadows. Who are you? Hey, 
you're Murray. Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Oh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy. I'm heading out to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. So I still don't have enough startup funds. Would you lend me some money? I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins. Nope, I'm not invested in your MLM. Fine, whatever. Be that way. Alright. Okay, broke port. Uh, I... I think I might need to go back through the sewers to try and figure out how to get over... I hope everyone's having a good time, by the way. Dazzle and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Come on, let's trade. You don't have any star pieces, are you trying to swindle me? Go away. Oh, that's a fortune teller. Nope. I'm not going to have her get hurt. Just got some snackies, don't mind me. I can press the right button. Ah! Ah! I want uh, I might need to go into a different pipe in order to get to the, the other pipe there. All right. 
Alright, oh. I completely did not reload. <laughs> completely did not realize because I was checking someone else's stream who I have in the background right now. <laughs> Alright, let's pick up the coins. Anything else over on this side? No. Oh! Haha! -ha. Just instant, instant one KO. Oh! Sleepy Sheep temporarily puts all enemies to sleep, immobilizing them. Cool. Slowly getting the hang of the jump. Ow. Ah! Not doing so well. Okay, head bonk. There we go. Too early. Okay. So I'll just do. There's something over the thing over there I want to get. Is there anything? Well, there's a save box. That would be helpful. Ah. Uh, dang it. I need to figure out how to get to the other side. Anything I can do here? No. Alright. 
Don't want to go in the water again. Do I have to do a thing to where it's like I have to spend a night in the inn in order for the game to be like, oh yeah, it's been enough time. You can get the, the contact lenses now. The game just cannot be read. What? The fuck? Well, thank all that's holy that I saved right at that point. All right. Turn it off, turn it back on. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. <laughs> Before playing, please read the help. Yeah, be able to. Yep. Skip the intro. Oh, uh, why is the audio all weird? Hold on, I'm plugging the source. Plugging it back into my computer. Will that help it? Okay, that sounds much better. That sounds better. I hope I didn't like accidentally soft lock the game or something like from an unknown glitch. Okay, there's that. That was concerning, not gonna lie. I mean, a soft lock seems less likely than you haven't figured out the exact sequence of events the developers had in mind. Yeah, that, that is fair. And it, there's something I have to do to get that chest up there. There's no way that it can be... There's no way that it can be... Are you winning, that. son? I'm trying to, Lexi. <laughs> Which, uh... Uh, Lexi, if you want to be in the VC, like, you're more than open to. Honestly, the same monster goes for like uh, Fee, Celine, anyone that's in the audience that is in my Discord server, you're more than open to hop in, which for those that are curious, I will actually Oh, hey, Lexi. We'll actually put There we go. Bet I'm cleaning house for now, but I'd love to join if I can. Hell yeah. How are you today, cutie? if I like have to like stay for a night because I know one thing that I need to do is the oh damn I'm out of jelly beans one of the things that I have to do is I need to get to the west wing but uh the one person is blocking my way because I accidentally broke one of their contact lenses <laughs> just slip Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. Where in the world could the princess have gotten to? Quite troubling indeed. Oh. Can't you take a hint, pal? Ellipses mean scram! Don't talk to me. 
And this is the skull stone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, my sparkly thing. It is so fabulous. I wish to give I wish to give it the biggest kisses. It never leaves my sight. Never. What can I get from you, bartender? This is Podley's Place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the way, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go on up and relax. It. Oof. I didn't notice there was a door. Wow. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. Oh, these are badges. Get more star power when Mario appeals. Let's see. Make action commands easy, but earn less star power. Drop damage Mario receives by one half when he is in danger. Stomp on a single enemy using lots Hi, of- Hi, Selene. Doing well, I had a day with my mom. Bought new clothes and two pairs of platforms. Hey, nice. Yeah, that's what I need. Whee! Ah, okay. Sounds lovely. Glad it went well. How's the cleaning going? Any luck? Ah, still taking its sweet time. What is this? Summons a scary spirit to chase some enemies away. Oh wait. A glowing mysterious light under the city smells like treasure, people! Okay, so I'm assuming we still need to do something... Oh, there's... There's a chest right up there. Okay. So... I need to remember... I went in the end. I need to remember... Uh, what... What ways I go to try and get some of the extra bits. Ah, oh, on the other side. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna save again in case the CD malfunctions again. I think a guy by that name lives on the other on the east side. Just go east. From, uh, what about him? Oh, I think there might be another place where there's like another door for me to uh, go to higher places somewhere. Alright, can you tell me how to get to Petal Meadows? Look for the pipe beneath the town. I mean, there's plenty of pipes beneath the town. You're an outsider. Past this point, it's the turf of Ishnail. Head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. If you try to pass without pain, and I'm afraid you'll have to whip. I'll have to whip you. the cleaning. Let me get back to that LOL. I want my room to feel new like my new clothes. Valid. Yeah. 
Cleaning up your space is a really good place. It's a really good idea. This is East Rogueport. It's the turf of Ishmael and his crew of robos. The east side is all run down. You can't even tell if there's building, if the buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. It's locked from the inside. A trouble center is the only place on the east side that other townsfolk come to. If the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. I'm out of the office. Please come again. It's locked. You can't open it. Ha. Uh, I gotta be grabbing a key somewhere. Might be overthinking this. Oh, there's a path. There's an open. There's an archway right here that I didn't comprehend. Wow! That thing's kind of soggy. Well, okay. I'm just gonna go in the water. Oh, it's a trap. Okay. Uh, oh! I think I know what I can do. Uh, sea water is found in the sea. That's a health hazard. There's some weird sea things living here too, so I try not to fall in the water. Okay. There's a pipe here that connects to Petal Meadow. Uh, where's my fire flower? Oh, I can't use it. Well, I mean, if it's soggy. Ah. Uh, well, there went that idea. Haha. Noise. Okay. And I'll just do a hammer for you as well. Six star points. Nice. I might need to ask the fortune teller to give me like some help. Because I am very confused. Oh! Which badge do I want? Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks. Yeah, I changed my mind. You got a problem? Uh, for those that might be just hopping in and may not know my content, hi, I am Road the Dusk. You can call me Road Dusk. Uh, just anything that you would call a friend. I'm a recent uh, affiliate YouTuber. Well, not, well, YouTuber and also a Twitch streamer. Um, I've been doing a lot of drawing and gaming lately. Um, since I just recently hit affiliate, I'm actually going to be having a celebration stream at the end of the month on the 30th, starting at noon. Starting at noon Eastern. So, I'm hoping um, during the celebration stream to also... Uh, have a donation uh, spiel going on. Uh, my job is not all the best, so I'm hoping to try and have some saved income to help uh, my uh, 
to help my partner Top Hat and I work on things. Until then, I'm just going to keep chugging along, gaming, doing what I'm doing, not knowing how in the fuck to get to the next part of this game because I never played Thousand Year Door before in my life. So, if you want to relish in the schadenfreude that is my stupidity in some games like this, feel free to stick around. I would really appreciate the company. Ah. Oof. Oh. oh, Kala. How's it going, Kala? And thank you for feeding Terror. I'm sure Terror appreciates the food. Ah! Are you fucking- are you kidding me? Alright. Oh! I'm doing good. Yeah. I forgot the ones with the spikes. You don't want to hop on them. Got another fire flower. Neat. Oh, can I not? Uh, is there something that I can do for like a double jump? Because if I go down there, that's just taking me to... Ah. Also, glad you're doing, you're doing good, Kala. I have a feeling that I am supposed to break this, but I don't know how I'm supposed to break it. Let's see. Yeah, current house. Okay. The ruins here are all crumbly and gnarly. Okay, and I need something that that lets me do the boat thing when I'm when I was near the ink when I was near the squid, so. <sighs> what am I doing wrong? Oh wait, how much gold do I have? I have like 28 coins. I wouldn't even have enough for uh, buying another badge. Fuck. Oh no, and I'm gonna have to pay you again. Fuck. Well, let's see if I can fight you. Let's fucking go. So yeah, and you got a spike, so. Yep. Ooh, actually. Let's 
It'll take time for the sleepiness to wear off. Use her tattle. Just keep her away. HP is 20. Okay. Move on to my items. Attacks all enemies. Oh, that woke him up. Ah, <laughs> oh, I pressed that in time. You have no chance of beating me. Trust me, you had better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'd be game over for you. You can choose to run from the tactics below. Sometimes it's best to run. Oh, but I don't have a mushroom! Wait. But I do have a sweet treat. He's only at four points, so I got this. Do my normal. I say normal as I go for the more powerful. Ha ha! 22 star points, hey! You, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? All right, let's go to the end. Took it a while to load. All right, I'm going to Sheesh Louise, what is going on out there? I'm sorry about the sirens, you guys. Alright, did you sleep well? I already got in face the world. How much is it actually for a mushroom? Only five? Hey. Honey syrup. Come on! See, I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one shop points, one shop point for each purchase they make. Save up enough shop points and you can get prizes, including some rare ones. You can find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty, sh pretty simple promotion. Oh. No! Okay, there we go. 
this must be the promo. Haha. -ha. Oh. Wait, was there? I want to see. Was there a contact lens on there? That would be like the most convoluted way. Okay. something that you can walk on over there so I would think that you can go that way let me see if This is annoying me a tad. Is there another? Can I jump on the bed maybe? Is there something? Anything from the hamper? Anything from you that I missed? You don't have any promos, or do you? Big welcome. Let's see. Which one do you want to sell? Ah! No, I'm not gonna sell any of them. Let's see. Darn it. Thought that would have gotten me somewhere. Nope, that's just a kitchen. Alright, I am lost on what I'm supposed to do. I might need to look up a walkthrough because I'm getting annoyed. I know I have to get up to the higher ground there, but I don't know how. Alright, you. Oh, you're to power up my partner. This is driving me nuts, but at least I got him away. Lock for the inside. How long were you planning to go tonight? Uh, I mean, I want to keep going until... Midnight. I I want to try and keep my gaming streams to like four hours. So like I don't know if uh, I want to switch to a different game uh, or what. I originally wanted to keep playing this, um, especially for when Top Hat gets home because he was thinking about wanting to join me, like reconfigure our layout so that. He can be the one playing things, kind of like what we did for Sunshine. But he might not be getting home until like 10, 15, 10, 30-ish. Also, I'm pretty sure it's that pipe. I'm pretty sure it's that fucking pipe. Wait, do I need to... Ah! Well, okay, that kind of... Can kinda... you fly across the creek where the bridge is, and then fly back to get to the lower level? Wait, can I fly across the creek where the bridge is and then fly back to get to the lower level? I mean, it has to be at a spot where it does have the... Where it does have the, um... The spot where it does give me the option to...
Oh, aha! Thought I noticed that. Tactics, peel. Ah. Words. This was back on the other side of the pipe. A solid minute before the TDS asked for me. Oh, this was back on the other side of the pipe. So it was... It was over on the east side of the port? Back on the other side of the pipe, a solid minute before the TTS. Huh? Select one to upgrade. Oh! Let's do the BP. Popping in to remind Dusk that he's an amazing person and an extremely adorable being that deserves lots of love and support. Thank you, Zelda. And hey, it takes one to know one. Oh wait, this is not where I need to go. Do -do -do. Okay, back on the outer side of the pipe, a solid minute before the TTS. I'll try to drop into VC in a moment here, but only if you'd like me to watch along. Yeah, I would appreciate still, like, being able to watch, and I'll try and play a little bit slower. Zelda has the right of it. Three. I I'm just still trying to figure out where the flip I need to go. I've been, what, stuck on this little area for a uh, half hour? Wait, back on the other side of the pipe, a solid minute before the TCS had asked. Other side of the pipe. Hi, hi. Oh, your little Fuji Tech uh, hasn't changed to your new your new character. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You need a specific platform in order to do the paper airplane. Yeah, you, you can. I'm gonna wait until this Goomba moves so that I can wallop him. Ah! Okay, maybe not. Wait, it's a minute behind? Sheesh! Yeah. press that in time. Yeah, considering this is a wholly, like, a completely different game than what I've used to. I've never played this before, so I'm like, eh. But yeah, um, I'll wait for the, um, for the stream to show back up for you, but there's a specific a platform and it's only on that platform that I can that you can do the uh, the airplane yeah and it's only this platform because when you step on it and you're able to use it it turns from a gray to a, a yellowish glow Yeah, I'm sure it is this pipe over here behind the fence, but I have no means to get over there. And I've already tried trying to fly over this way because there is also a chest over there. And I do see that there's a... Yeah. And I see that there's a crack there. However, 
I don't have a means to like open that crack or anything. And the only other thing that I could do may be related to this platform and it looks like needing some sort of sail or a boat, but I don't have anything for that. No, it wouldn't it won't even let me step on it. Um Yeah. Cause like when I try to um like it won't let me Oh! Actually <laughs> I thought I wasn't able to actually hit on I I thought I wasn't actually able to hit it, but apparently I could. Because when I tried to like press the button to like jump on it before, it would just interact with it and I'm like, okay, I guess I can't do anything. Nope. I'm just stupid. <laughs> I have my moments, and this was certainly one of them. Hmm. See, who just up and whacked someone's uh, tootsies like that? Somebody with some serious moxie, that too. Alright. Oh, crap. I'm probably... I should probably go over to the sh You can press Y to put me in front. Okay, can't sleep in the fight. Fuck, I probably should have gotten some shit earlier. I probably should have gotten some items. Because now... <laughs> See, hey mustache, you're thinking I I taste good, aren't you? Admit it. I mean See. I mean calamari is good sometimes. But not sure how I feel about that. Yeah. Well, especially f coming from this squid over here. Uh, blooper. Yeah, I think you can just go back to uh, Fushi Tech, in all honesty. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Try not to have too much fun. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn. Okay. Exactly miss that. No! Alright.
Just a smack in the face. Alright. I, I can take this. There we go. We got some platforms now. Nice. Just gonna keep on, tr <laughs> keep on trekking. <laughs> Clear. Heading to the first chapter proper. Castle and Dragon. Nice. Alright, going to Petal Meadows. Oh wait, I should probably actually go back and rest before we go <laughs> too far. Well, here we are at the Petal Meadows where folks say Crystal Star hides. Here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Yeah, not so fast. Alright, All right, let's go back over. Go back to the surf. Ooh, do not want to hop on you. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. head over to the uh, the shop to get some items and then also go to the, go to the inn probably would be a good idea as well I'm get fire flower was really good um, let's do that Sayumi Miyasa Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Hey, Saya. For those that uh, have only just heard it. Goodness gracious. <laughs> uh, for oh wait, Tetris winner. <gasps> I had you, I, I was lurking regarding your stream. Did you actually win? Did you actually win? I know you were super concerned about that. Uh, but for those that don't know, uh, please take a look at uh, Saya. Saya Mi Miyasa is an absolute awesome person. She does a lot. Hey, yes, she won. Congrats. Con Congratulations. Congratulations. That's awesome. I know you're worried about that yesterday before your rematch. But everyone, uh, for those that don't know Saya, uh, please be sure to check out her stuff. She is the head princess, as we like to call her, of the Ninja Arcade, 
Uh, she does a lot of retro and modern gaming, uh, kind of like myself. And she, um, she is just a friend of mine. Uh, no thanks to my stream mom, Brinka, and by proxy, my stream dad, Lance Nanacola. So please be sure to give her some love. For those that haven't seen me before, hi, I am Road to Dusk. You can call me Road, Dusk, anything that you would call a friend. I do uh, drawing and gaming. Um, currently, I am struggling to wrap my head around uh, the Thousand Year Door here on GameCube because I didn't grow up with GameCube. So I'm hope I, I'm hoping that you relish in the shot in Freud from this, but um, I tend to do just a lot of this, a lot of gaming. I also do drawing. Um, this past drawing stream, I actually drew uh, one of our friends, Rinka, Rinka Mew. So um, yeah, if any of the stuff that I have just mentioned or anything that. Um, Anything that you may think you want to see me do in the future, such as um, I do, I have been doing Splatoon 3 as well, off and on. If any of that sounds your fancy, feel free to stick around. I would very much appreciate the company. And if any of you um, want to have, if any of you want to interact with like polls for like when I talk about if I'm indecisive on a game or th that I want to play or art that I want to do for a stream, feel free to check my Discord. Please note that it is 18 plus, so please do not be lying about your age or anything like that. Um, Ramon, thank you so much for the first. I really appreciate it. And Zelda for the second. Thank you. Oh, what was that? Let's see. Oh, what do we got? Ooh, we got the dragon over in the background there. With tiny, tiny wings. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that like humongous before. It looks kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor frankly said this place is peaceful. Crazy. We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario. Let's go. really curious about, um, oh hey, a mushroom, kind of need that. I might actually eat one of those now. I have all the emotes. Sorry, sleeping on the job. You're all good, Celine. You're all good. Let's see, yeah, I'm at 6 HP, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat one of the mushrooms. Aha! Oh, and let me turn back on the Texas speech. Uh, let's do a tactic. Peel. Don't worry, we just raided him and flipped all the tables in typical raid fashion. <laughs> Thanks so much for lurking, friend. If you want to still support the channel while you're away, feel free to mute the streams tab in your web browser. Alright, there we go. Spooky text to speech noises. Spooky text to speech noises. <laughs> Thank you, Zelda. OMG, Ooh. it reads chat, that's awesome. Yeah, I am using a text to speech uh, website called Speech Chat to have text-to-speech go on in the background. Um, I have it because I, I have... Say this. <laughs> I have uh, personal friends who are blind or struggle, or struggle with seeing, so I think text-to-speech is a very good way to be sure that they can hear Tom as much Gachi as possible. is a handheld digital virtual pet that was first released in Japan on November 23rd, 1996. 
Co-created by Akiro Yakoi and Aki Maeda and owned by Japanese toy company Bandai since inception, it is a small and simple egg-shaped computer that tasks the user to take custody of one of the titular creatures, with its growth dependent on care quality. It has three buttons, A, B, and C, which allow the user to select and perform an activity. <laughs> nerd. Nice. Give me just a hot sec. Now you can hear when I remind uh, everyone I think that actually, considering I started at um, 8, uh, it's now like 10.15. I think real quick what I want to do is take a break. I'm probably just going to do like a 10 minute break. Happy face. Um, hope that's okay. See, now you can hear when I remind everyone. <laughs> hey, no need to apologize. Nothing wrong with being a nerd. We're all nerds in our own way. Um, but yeah, I think that now is a good time as any to take a quick break. So right be sure to get uh, yourselves water, snacks, anything that you need to hydrate and feel just all kinds, like whatever you need. I'll be back with you all in about 10 minutes. Let's get my intermission timer set up and then I'll see you all in a bit.
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back, everybody. Let's jump straight back into playing some Mario. Let me turn off the intermission music. I took a little quick break to say hi and welcome home to my roommate, Top Hat. Um, for those that haven't uh, seen Top Hat Gamer, uh, they are a very personal friend of mine. Welcome back. Ye, thank you, Zelda. Let's see. And I want to make sure that I'm going to write his name right. Uh, but Top Hat. Uh, lives with me and uh, he has been playing uh, Super Mario Sunshine with me uh, and so originally we were thinking of like him hopping in uh, when he came home uh, for playing some Paper Mario because Mario is kind of his thing but he's a little overstimulated after work so I'm just gonna let him be, but I would appreciate that you guys give him some love. Um, he, what I hear, Top Hat is an amazing person and an adorable being. He is, definitely. But yeah, when you guys have time, please be sure to check him out and give him some love. But with that said, let's get back into our game. And I do have some popcorn and some sweet tea drink. Ha ha! There we go. There we go. If anyone would like to chat with me uh, while I'm uh, playing, like I'm more than open to have a conversation. One of the perks of TTS is that it makes it easy for me to talk with you guys and keep in touch. One more thing, Mario, if you ever find yourself like wondering what to do, just press X and use my tattle ability. I might be able to look up some useful info that will help us on our adventure. Ah. There we go. Ah, oh, too early on that. Too early on that. need to go through the pipe that we saw earlier. So let's go. Called it. something about that pipe that we need, but I think we missed something over on this side. There's something about these, I'm pretty sure. Because those look too well aligned. 
I forget if I saved before my intermission, so let's do that. for you. Here we go. don't know quite what I'm missing. I know I need a bridge here. It would make no sense to just have a gap here. Yep, I had a feeling it was going to be a chomp. Every water obstacle has a chomp. Alright. I might need to go to the badge shop to see if there's like a long jump or something kind of badge. Oh wait, that has a different shape, that has one shape, that has one shape. I might need to go by the shapes of these to determine something. Every water obstacle has a charm. And every dusk stream has an adorable bean on screen. <laughs> Thank you, Zelda. Alright. Let's see. I am not gonna worry about you. Let's see. Badge shop go by like going to top here. Also, yeah, pay no attention to the. Always happy to compliment the precious bean. Well, be sure to compliment yourself every once in a while too. So you drop the damage your ally takes. Let's see, makes action commands easier. Let's see, you drop Mario's attack power, but regain, but regain one FP per attack. Let's see, make action commands hard, and earn more star power. Slowly and automatically restore FP during battle. Wow. Wait, and how much? We only have 34 coins. We don't even have enough for a badge. Dag nabbit. I want that idea. I probably should have looked at that before. Oh, I want to check to see if these guys finally got the con. Oh, wait. Wrong door! 
You need to go to the one shop and see if they finally have the contact lens. Gonna have to wait a bit longer. Seriously? Alright. Honestly, I've been really tempted to... Um, I've been tempted to want to get back in the Kingdom Hearts games. Um, I have all of them except for Memory and Melody. And like, I'm excited for Kingdom Hearts 4, actually. Um, I will say, I do have Recoded. I do not have a capture card on my 3DS nor do I have the funds to mod it for that. You, you didn't hear me say that word, Nintendo. You didn't hear me say that word. But I don't, um, I don't have a way to show my 3DS at the moment, as much as I would love to uh, play like recoded proper, because um, the final mixes on the PS4 in the collections only have like the cutscenes. So, yeah. And you know, actually speaking of Kingdom Hearts, for like, Chain of Memories, would you guys prefer seeing re-Chain of Memories, as in like on the PS2 and the PS4, or would you guys prefer seeing the Game Boy Advance version? Because I have copies of both. PS2 would be better. Fair. Also, I'm still here, just had to do something. You're good. Lurking is all fine. Goombas, make sure you're all you always got enough HP and FP to fight. You can press Z to check your stats. Sorry, I just had a not so great feeling. I munched on a popcorn kernel, and there was like one sliver jag of it that was just stuck in one area of my throat it just did not feel comfortable so I had to bring it down with some tea Oh, 
Okay, that was a tad early. There we go. The river running through here totally makes the air crisp and fresh and refreshing. By the way, have you tried checking the grass around here? Sometimes those clumps of grass hide good stuff, so always check them with A. Oh! Are you kidding? Well, hey! Alright, let's go for that blog. Sounds like for him are actually like super muffled. All right, let's see what we got over on this side. Nope, and we cannot go to the next to the other scene. Okay. Oof. Excuse me. Hey, Firefly. Didn't. Gift as well. Take a chance and find out. Oh, we can't open up the mystery until later. Travelers? Hmm, where are any, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yeppity, once, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area, well, it didn't keep tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. A dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> so anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Eh, nope, can't say I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway... The mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. Pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for the help. Now let's rummage through everybody's houses. Oh, okay. All right, that was the end. Oh, there's another item shop. Oh. Safe block. Oh, what are your promos? Come in, come in. This is Nifty's shop. What can I do for you? Let's see, Mr. Softener softens up enemies for a bit, decreasing their defense. Gives your partner courage to boost their defense. Attacks all ground pound enemy. Ooh, all ground bound. Nice. Attacks all enemies with fireballs and burns them. Hey, and this place is slightly cheaper prices. Nice. Who are you? Ah, uh, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 not you, Monsieur Mustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Apprentice is dull out and come away with more. 
Ew, are you kidding? Ew. Nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the dork. Oh, 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 sacre bleu. Such brutal honesty. Such a sharp tongue. Well, I, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Cherie, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. I did not expect that, but okay. I'm General White. I, I am a bob bomb and I have lost my hopes and dreams. Well, that's a way to start a conversation. I live in solitude. Always I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Well. Hey, uh, well, come on in, I guess. Doors open. Oh, Hooktail, who lives at the top of that old castle behind this hummock? Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but not a one has returned. So, uh, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? Nah, not really. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hooktail, it's made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Oh, well, here's the pink house. What's that? Someone's there? Who is it? Oh! What do you want with me? I know, you're thieves! Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa! Despicable! Go on, do what you will! But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here! No, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends, and my antique shell too! Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not these, you say? Well, what's your story then? No. Wait. You folks looking for crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before you, is it? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you say you're hunting. Doom, wait. What did I hear about those things again? Uh huh. Got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's an enormous, ordinary dragon. Each folks, they say, you know Hooktail, right? Well, that hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have all of us on pins and needles. So, uh, are you reckless fools? I, I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I like hear? You'll accept no reward? What an unselfish man! You're noble indeed! You a good egg! Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy? Yeah, that's a fine name! Yes, a fine name indeed! Well now, Murphy! I appreciate that, Murphy. They're nice eyebrows. Now, listen up! If you're intent on going to Hooktail's castle, find a sacred pipe near the village! I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use the pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwank Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Well then, Murphy, get along and take care of that hooktail monster. <gasps> oh, 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 there's a badge right there. What do we got here? What do you say? You mean you're actually going to Oaktail's castle? I can't believe you dare challenge that behemoth. It eats people. Often. Um, it's really none of my business, but it's one scary dragon, and that's no lie. Anything up here that I can rummage? No? You just got some really weird architecture. Oh, you got, you got mail. <laughs> As you travel, you may receive email from people you've met on your journey. You can read these emails on your mailbox XP. Press start and then access the menu. Okay, you'll find it.
Frankly. Hello, Mario. Working hard. Professor Frankly here to the to, to here in e form. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this once in a while on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say about that, so I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars, Professor Frankly. What did you put in the trash, old man? Hopefully that's not important. Direct mail verification. Dear Mr. Mario, thanks for registering with Roveport Direct Mail. Your kind friend, Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular, timely news updates. We hope you enjoy our service. Published by Roveport Restoration Committee. Man, at first was reading that, that second one, I thought it was going to be, We've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. Like one of those scam mails. An old stronghold named Schwank Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least, it might live there. This gate is to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking him. That'll begin. My name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail Castle. So anyway, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Poor buddy. Well, um, uh, oh, just, just, just forget it. Never mind. Hey, ignore me. Good, goodbye. Buddy needs a hug. That was weird. What do you think that was about? Talk about issues. Don't judge, Gumbella. Might have social anxiety. Which is totally valid. Uh, let's see, their shells are hard, but flip them over and their defense drops to zero. If you know how to flip them over, just jump on their heads. at least. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna grab these. Oh! Slowly and automatically restore HP during battle. Nice! Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love all of it. Ah! Crud. Okay. Do, do, do. 
Here we go. Have some more popcorn. Oh, I cannot believe I did that. <laughs> okay, so you have wasted that, but it is what it is. and they will fail. never actually hit the flying Goombas that well. get within the next hour because I normally stream until midnight Eastern and it's 11 right now so let's see what happens. one star point. Come on. Alright. I will 
Oh, oh crap, I didn't notice that. I'll just jump into you. Screw it. Oh no! Attacks sometimes will miss. Well, damn. Replenish all the HP of Mario and his partner. Doing this will also replenish. If, yeah, it will cost you the number of coins shown on the block. So be ready to pay. Yeah, I got the money. Nice. Contestant I've seen in a while. Right, let's get some more popcorn going. Hope everyone's having a good time, by the way. If you come on this way into a fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And I, and by terrible, I mean awful. So what do you want to do? I'll take you on. You're in for it now. Oh, it's a boss. Oh, it's a game show. <laughs> Ladies and germs, welcome everybody to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz. Quirk up those ears. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. We get three of them wrong and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Hey, hold on. Yeah, no, stone keys. I hate to be so repetitive, but I'm gonna remind Dusk that he's an amazing person and an adorable being. I appreciate it, Zelda. Uh, what if, uh, for those in the chat and those that want to chat, what have you all been up to lately? I know a lot of you came from Saya's uh, stream, 
which I really appreciate uh, the raid, by the way, Saya, if you're still in chat. Um, but yeah, what has everyone been up to? What what do one Mr. Softener and one Fire Flower cost at the shop in Petalburg? Total. So the Fire Flower is eight and the Softener oh, is 16 total. Yes! Okay. That question was too easy, but it gets harder from here. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Oh, we we never got his name, actually. I'll go Bertle. Fuck it. Yep, yeah, had a feeling that was wrong. Yep, yeah, that was my first one wrong. Question four. Where is the crystal star? Oh, I... I've been hanging out in various streams today to bring my usual reminder and positivity for everyone. That's really nice of you, Zelda. Always bring in the positivity. It's always great that you want to bring in the positivity. That's really nice of you. How can one get from Petal Meadows to Rogue Floor? Yeah, I noticed, I'm starting to notice that like any time that you actually pick the right answer, it doesn't really give you an opportunity to like change. Um, he goes, are you sure? Tell me you didn't just get your fourth right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for On the question six, what the following creatures have hands? That's right! You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win! I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through. Stupid rules. Well, that's what you get. switch this one out with I might switch it out with power smash oh this one I don't want to jump onto because the spikes
There we go. Yes, the Sleepy Sheep's a fun one. Oh. A Sunstone. Go quick and easy. Sorry, I'm checking on things on my end because I've gotten a lot of notifications on Discord. Okay, there we go. Excuse me. Let's go to the other side. Ah! at me. <gasps> Alright, this means war. <laughs> no! That can have it. That was completely my bad. I was focused on popcorn. Okay. Pressing A the moment they release you. Ah, uh, the timing is pretty hard to master. Crack this up. Noise.
Oh, there's a moonstone. Goombella is... Oh, everyone. Well, okay. better timing. Come on. Okay, got it on that one. So I have this, the sun and the moon piece. So now I gotta find a spot, I think, where I gotta put them together. Really, a golden fuzzy? Hey, you suspicious types, this is our place, and coming here is rude, rude, rude! Sorry, suckers, if you want a warm welcome, too bad! Now I lunch on your head! than you look, but I'm not through. Everyone, get him! Aha! Oh. Alright. Ah! Uh. That took a pretty decent chunk. Ah. Uh, 
special. Ah! Ah, not again. I assume there's going to be a completionist thing. Even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, how does this scene hide? Look at it, it's so gaudy. Oh, whoa. Did not expect that. <laughs> hey, 20 star points. Where do I go now, though? Like, where do I go to put the the stones? I assume go back up the pipe. useless. Now where do I take the stones? Because since we got them on the edges, uh, on the- oh wait! Derp! Now I know! There's the two holes that were in the two stones right at the start of this area. Let's go over there. You know what? Let's wall up you guys first.
You know, it's actually pretty close to 11.30, so I think... Like, normally I keep going until midnight, but I think 11.30 might be a good spot to stop. What do you guys think? Say that either way, it was nice being here today. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah, since there's the oh. Oh, he's got a power block. Let's get that before he can use it. Struck first. Crap. timing for that right. Ooh, fire flower. Give. Man, how many scenes backward did we go? I seriously lost count. Mario, right? Look, I am. Um, see, the thing is, I've been waiting here in hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm going to throw it out there. Um, see, I was wondering, would you. Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail. Please, I'm begging you. Sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long, long ago. But he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him dearly. But this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is part of it. I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started for his sake. For everyone's sake. I... Man, this is embarrassing. 
See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. Hold on, just wanting to check a thing. Sorry, I'm checking like audio stuff to make sure that everything is copacetic. There we go. Because I'm noticing that my uh, caption thing is not working properly. A takes one and no one. See, everyone says I'm a cryberry bee, a weakling, but if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. Sure, come along. For real? No kidding. Thank you so much. You won't regret this. Coop. Coop says join your party. Oh. Press X to shoot out his shell. Use it to receive distant items and hit switches. Ooh. If you hold X, you can hold his shell in one place after shooting him. After holding his shell in place, release X to fire the shell past Mario when attack. Mmm. You can even hold Koopa's shell. Blade. He is a Beyblade. <laughs> you can even hold Koop's shell in place. Move Mario and then release the shell. Ah! So remember, hold X to shoot the shell out and hold it in place. In battle, Koops can, uh, can fight by your side, striking foes with his main move, the shell toss. He can also strike all ground pound, uh, all ground bound enemies in one attack with his power shell. To swap your partner in the field, press the start, press the start button, and go to the party menu. Ooh, cool. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Coops. Golly, um, hi, hi, Koopy, Koopy Koo. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Coops. I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail, but you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher for you, so I have to do this. No, Coops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place? It's, it's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so... Don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Fine! Ignore me! Sheesh! Stubborn Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you. I'll come back to you a stronger Koopa. Well... Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Meow. Hey, Kala. Hope you're doing well. Lurks are always good. I think actually, um, I I'm not sure if I want to stop um, 
before or after um, we quite get to the castle, but... Kala is a bean. Kala is definitely a bean. But I am definitely thinking of... I think I already have an idea on who I want to raid out. Unless any of you have any ideas. is a bean. There's a sage box right there. Moonstone there. At the Zelda player ninety nine. Pads for Zelda. All right, so I think this is gonna be where I'm. The I think this will be where I'm gonna end it for tonight. A little bit earlier than what I normally do, but spoons are kind of important. And for those that don't know, yesterday was a bit of a strange night, and that kind of threw me off. And I'm still not a hundred percent from then, but yeah. But. I have a great idea on who we are going to raid tonight. Um, she is our residential wholesome bean, emphasis on the hoe, her words, and currently, uh, so her streams are always 18 plus and her content is 18 plus because she likes to talk about a lot of fun stuff that also happens to be adult. Um, but currently she is also going down uh, a road of memory lane. Test. It was nice being here today and seeing the beans. Eee, hey, thank you, Zelda. But we are going to raid over uh, Asterisk Official, aka Lexi Flair. She is also uh, having her own road of memory lane with um, some Jack and Daxter, which I am very curious about because I have never actually played Jack and Daxter. There's a lot of games from like my era of gaming that I never actually played before. <laughs> And like, I feel so out of touch. So like, I'm really curious to actually uh, play it at some point, at least on my own time. But let's get that going. And we also have a nice little raid message to go the road with to it. Has led the raiders to you. Hello. And from here, let's start getting ready to send this lovely message over to Lexi and I will say to everyone hope you all have a wonderful rest of your morning afternoon evening whatever time it is in your time zone and have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you next time bye bye